Next up, a Vancouver entrepreneur who hopes to find funding for his adventurous startup. Hello, Dragons. My name is Jordan Uridi. I'm from Vancouver, BC. I'm here today to ask you for $30,000 for 20% of my business, ultimateadventure.ca. Two and a half years ago, I moved to Vancouver to work for a daily deal company and found that there were many problems with both the merchants and the customers. Um, <clears throat> my company not only fixes these problems, but puts together organized group adventures and offers them at a reduced price to the public. We take the proven method of the bulk buying. <clears throat> excuse me. We take the proven method of bulk buying okay, from the daily deal stop. industry. Okay, you gotta stop. You're reading a cue card. You don't know your deal. If you can't explain your business, you're never gonna sell it to me. So give me the cue cards. All right. Sorry, man. That's real life. You can do it. You know you know it. You seem very confident. Relax. <clears throat> So what my company does is it takes a uh, takes the proven method of bulk buying that the daily deal industry has proven and combines it with uh, event planning to be able to offer these sort of adventures to the everyday public at a reduced price. So bulk buying of like skiing or ski event trips or yeah. So what we'll do is we'll put together a uh, an adventure of some sort, whether it be something that is a once in a lifetime experience like skydiving, like bungee jumping, or so on and so forth all the way down to something that appeals to the everyday person. What are we looking at here with all the pictures going on? Uh, these are actually pictures of things that I've done, um, just to show you, because not only do I speak from experience on this, but I'm able... <laughs> Wait a minute, what's that adventure? <laughs> uh, that is an Oktoberfest uh, event. So that would be something that has a little bit more of a mass appeal to the broader market. you got a pretty exciting life going on. I have, actually. <laughs> oh, I, my um, God. Yeah, so the in order to do something like this on your own, it can be quite expensive. It can take a lot of uh, a lot of time and effort to try and find somebody to go with, a lot of coordination. Okay, I get that, but how do I make money? So how you would make money is we've seen from the daily deal industry such as Groupon and Living Social, we take that same sort of concept and go up to the merchants and say, you know what, I'm going to bring you a bunch of business, but you need to give it to me at a significantly lower price because I'm doing all the work and bringing you all the business. But what makes you different than the daily deal? What makes us different is we're able to guarantee a specific date, a specific number of people. So let's say a tour operator, a helicopter ride operator has in a day 100 seats available and you want to tie that whole day up with your idea. So you're going to guarantee him 100 people and he'll drop his price by what, 20, 30 percent? Okay. Well, with that, so part of the negotiation is uh, I will go deal with the merchants and I say, I don't, I'm not going to guarantee a specific number because I have no well, way... Why of, would he give you a discount? Because I'm guaranteeing you a minimum. What so if you don't I sell say, the seats? Well, wait, I'm about to get there. So no matter whether someone shows up or not, you're going to pay me, right? What we can do is we can arrange some sort of payment on that. Now, well, the, I want to know mean? exactly. What does that mean? It, does it offset the risk on you now to get 25 people in those seats? Yes, it is. It does put a lot of risk on me. Now, one of the great things about this business model is we have no inventory, no brick and mortar, no distribution. We don't have to worry about any of that. So, and you also have no site. It is very early, um, and that's part of the reason I'm asking for the $30,000. Here's the big problem. This is not an automated online business. This is a... No, it requires Jordan, me. roll up your sleeve. Absolutely. I'm not worried about you coming into my adventure facility. I'll take the business at 20% off. I'm worried about your business because mm -hmm. when you start having to organize all these events, you're talking logistics are going to kill you. It's going to be, it's, it's not going to scale. I, I do see your concern with that. Now, one of the greatest you things... You do see a concern with that. I do see your concern with that. I'm out. Mm -hmm. it, it is very early. It's not a huge, huge amount in terms of the valuation of what I'm valuing the company at. But this is I what know, I need. But right now, the company is a, a domain name, number one. It is. But number two, you're, you're a tour promoter. You're just using the internet a little bit here and there to help the people register. Mm -hmm. But from an investment perspective, I, I don't think it's ever going to be investable. Okay. So for that and a lot of other reasons, I'm out. Good luck. Okay. Jordan, you demonstrated that business is probably the scariest adventure you can go on, and that started right from when you came in here, right? You've Absolutely. done a lot of stuff. Absolutely. You've ever been more scared than you were right then? You look more right. comfortable with that blonde in Germany than you did coming out here. But my point's going to be this. I think you're ready for the adventure out there. I'm not sure you're ready for the adventure of business. 
Okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm following um, what you mean by that. I'm out. Okay. Um, so many businesses fail because they're either A, underfunded, or B, they try to grow too fast. So one of the things that I want to do is obviously to reinvest a lot of the revenue back but into George, you don't have any this. revenue. You weren't even ready, prepared to come in here to pitch us for this. I, I was prepared over no, and over. No, you weren't. Um, but for I me, just, to be honest, when you're not prepared for a pitch, you don't get the money, I'm out. Jordan, let's take stock. You want me to give you $30,000 to experiment with a business strategy that most people here think is stillborn, right out of the gate, because you have no leverageability and you can't scale it. $1.9 billion in the province of BC alone was spent on what they call adventure tourism. That may so be that true, but you have no way to make money off that information. And here's the issue. This is a very valuable space you stand in. Thousands of people try and come here, of which a few hundred get a chance. You've completely wasted our time and made sure that somebody else had a better idea that I could have made some money on isn't there instead, which really drives me crazy. I'm very unhappy with you. I'm out. Okay. Kevin, you didn't need to be that mean to him. I'm not mean. You can help him understand what's wrong without That's being That's not my jerk. job. I'm not here teaching anybody. This isn't the advice den. That sucked. You don't need to give advice. You just don't have to be such a time. jerk. Next.